Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so it's time for the monthly roundup video. Yay! So, um, obviously I am continuing them on into this year. Um, I don't see why I should stop doing them. I think they're quite a useful way for me to sort of like reflect back on the month that I've just had and to not have to come up with another topic to talk about. <laughs> Might be a lot of that, to be fair. Um, so my January has been interesting um, and not quite the January that I was hoping for in places. Um, Obviously, we've spent most of this month with tighter restrictions again, um, so the one thing that I was hoping to do um, this month was get my name changed by Depol, um, but because um, of the tighter restrictions that have been in place and because um, my friends have family members who are more vulnerable, um, not been able to meet up with them in order to get that sorted um hopefully fingers crossed sometime maybe in the next couple of months that will get sorted it'd be nice to have it done before my birthday which is in march um but obviously you know i'm i'm letting them call the shots on when they feel safe doing it because they're the ones who are you know who are going to be putting people at risk whereas i live on my own i'm you know barely see anybody so i'm you know relatively safe um for the people that i care about um in comparison to like the situations that they're in so it, it's a case of i know i need to call the shots on that um then of course i had the issue with the tap um at the beginning of the month so back in the beginning of the month and um um uh, last week i've also now developed a problem with the, the drain in the kitchen <laughs> which needs to be sorted. Um, I haven't contacted the plumber about it yet. Um, I, first of all, I wanted to like have my mum take a look at it just in case it was something that we could sort ourselves um, and just like have a second pair of eyes on it just to sort of try and work out exactly what the issue was. Um, we've both concluded that no, I do need to get a plumber in because there are bits that are going to need to be replaced and I'd rather they were replaced correctly. Um, so I haven't contacted the plumber yet, um, partly because I've been very stressed at work. I mean, that sounds like a weird kind of excuse, um, but I'm, I'm one of those people that it takes a lot for me to get like properly stressed out by anything. Um, I mean, I know I like have my little stresses about things, um, but if I'm properly stressed out about something, I then find it hard to do things. Um, that's not like general things like, you know, I can go into work, I can get on with stuff and, and blah, 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 blah. Um, it's more a case of if there's something I have to do that is outside of my usual routine um, that I kind of find normally stressful anyway. Like for me, having to contact companies or having to contact people to deal with stuff is something that I find particularly stressful. I have phone anxiety, so I don't like having to call people. Um, so if I'm at a point where I've got other stresses that ha have really properly stressing me out, one of the things I then find even harder to do is to phone the people that I need to phone or to contact the people that I need to contact because my brain is already at such a high level of stress, it just, it just shuts down and it doesn't want to deal with it. So, um, yes, I know I need to contact the plumber, but I also need my brain to sort of calm itself down a little bit more first um i mean i say that i'm planning to try and message the said plumber today <laughs> um like i like that that's that's my my goal for the day is to try and is to try and contact the plumber whether or not i'll actually do it i don't know because my brain keeps coming up with excuses for me not to do it um or coming up with other things that i need to do first um, and just like basically like putting like a whole load of obstacles in the way of, of me contacting the plumber and I know it's doing that because although my stress level is starting to come down a little bit because of the work stuff it is still higher than my, like my normal levels um, my normal sort of like copable levels 
um, and it sort of also being combined with a little bit of anxiety and stuff. Um, so it, it, I don't really want to go too much into the work stuff because, you know, as I've said before, I, you know, I <laughs> get into trouble for saying certain things. Um, and, you know, I've, I've always been very careful about not saying where I work for. Um, what I will say is certain things that I was doing in work were making me incredibly stressed and incredibly angry. Um, and I got to a point where I realised I just couldn't keep doing said activity anymore. Um, and since then, I've been really anxious about being put back into doing that activity again, which is why my stress levels haven't dropped quite as much as they might have um because you know the you know work has been understanding and has allowed me to step back to it from doing said activity for a while just so that i can you know get into a better headspace with it because it, it was just one of those things that like i was coming home and i was being so angry for like no reason um and i i noticed it i actually noticed it a few months ago that like every little thing was just setting me off into an absolute rage and to begin with i thought oh maybe maybe i'm I'm just like angry because it's happening like in the evening post work but before i've had a chance to like have my evening meal uh so maybe i'm like waiting too long after work to eat maybe i need to like have a little bit of a snack when i get in before i do my exercise just to tide me over just so that i'm not you know that it's not like a blood sugar thing or anything like that um and eating helped like a little bit um but what i noticed really helped was when i had like a week where i managed to avoid doing said stressful activity pretty much um and then like a lot of stressful things sort of happened and i noticed i wasn't getting really angry about it like i had been previously um so yeah it, it's it was basically that sort of situation where i kind of realized oh hang on a second this is seriously affecting me like trying to sort of like stay really calm about it in work i was struggling I was literally getting to a point where i was struggling to just stay calm about it in work never mind anything else but that meant that it was then bubbling over into like what i was doing of an evening and i was then like getting stressed and really angry about things that i shouldn't get really stressed and angry about um and it was like just generally affecting my mental health and you know i have asked to take a step back from that but because i'm like really anxious that i'm still going to be made to do it because it's like <laughs> it, that's just how my brain is working at the moment because it's been so stressed out about this for so long um that my, my stress levels aren't low enough yet for me to really want to have to deal with these things that i know i have to deal with so there's this on the one hand yeah, I know, I know I need to contact the plumber, I know I need to do it today, if I can do it today, um, I know I need to push myself into doing it, but at the same time, my brain has just been so stressed in, over the last couple of weeks, um, in this sort of like, the, the in, with this whole sort of like thing going on, because it's been a couple of weeks since I've asked to not do this thing that's really stressful for me, um, for a while um my, my brain is still sort of like trying to wind down and, and trying to allow me to sort of do other things and this is not like contacting the plumber is not the only thing that i need to do <laughs> there's there's another thing that i need to do that i need to sort out that um and it, and it also hasn't helped that like the front door to this property has, has got issues now as well so it's like it's all this this adult stuff that i have to deal with that i find normally stressful when i'm already in a state where my brain is already stressed out and i'm already in a, a more agitated state and a more anxious state than i would be normally my brain then finds it even harder to do these things and i kind of go into sort of um a sort of a freeze sort of like a mental freeze sort of like a, i can't deal with anything else sort of state and, and i don't get things done and i know i need to get things done um so yeah, that's kind of been what my January has been like. So um, it's kind of a, been a case of being disappointed that the world pandemic situation is still crazy and horrible and stopping me from 
even just in general seeing my friends. Like, I want to be able to meet up with my friends. Like, never mind, like, the name-changing stuff. I just want to be able to meet up with my friends. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's that side of it. Um, then there's the, like, reaching a climax with how much stress I've been feeling in work. Um, and then, like, the, the anxiety of I'm, I'm going to still be made to be in this really stressful situation, even though I've made it clear that I can't be in this stressful situation anymore. Um, and, then com and then combined with like sync breaking at the beginning of the month and sync breaking at the end of the month, it's just kind of and then door breaking and, and like other things that I have to adult, and it just uh, it's just very much one of those sort of points where my brain is like, I just I'm exhausted mentally from like all of this, and I just I don't want to have to do these things that I know I have to do because I, I just need a pause and I've already taken far too long of a pause if my mum is to be believed even though like the drain problem is not as depressing as the pat problem was and like but this is but this is my logic behind why I don't mind waiting on that whereas I couldn't have waited on that is I use that sink all the time like even if I'm in the kitchen and I need to wash my hands I'm more likely to go into the bathroom and wash my hands in the bathroom than I am to use the the sink in the kitchen to wash my hands. Um, the reason being that I don't actually have an active thing of um, hand wash in the kitchen at the moment anyway, but the one that I did have in there until it got very slowly used up is one that I'm allergic to. <laughs> so, like, I sort of pre trained myself not to use that one for general things. Um, so, I only really use it for the washing up, and I have a bowl which I can empty in the bathroom if I need to. Um, so it's very much a case of, yeah, I know I need to get it sorted, but actually in terms of my usage, I don't really use that sink um, to the degree that I use the other sink. So even though it's a bit annoying to have to work around it for a minute, it's still a lot easier to work around than the other way around was. Um, so I think, that also doesn't help my lack of motivation to, to get it sorted. Um, plus, it's kind of like, I don't know how much it's going to cost. Um, I can afford it, but I don't know how much it's going to cost. And I don't like not knowing how much things are going to cost before getting into things. Um, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to have to spend more money. <laughs> I don't want to have to spend more money on repairing this flat so soon after repairing this flat. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically summed up kind of what my January has been. Um, it's been not the month that I would have wanted it to have been, um, but hopefully going forward from here, things will sort of like smooth off and level off and, and, and go more in the direction that I, I want for the rest of my year. Um, so one of the positive things that I, I know at some point my name is going to change. I don't know when, but I know at some point my name is going to change. And I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to seeing my friends in person, not just for getting the deed poll sorted, but also just to see my friends in person. Like hopefully we can sort of meet up in person a few more times this year. So that's, again, that's something I can look forward to in the months that have come. Um, I personally want when we do meet up for the deed poll, for us to like make it a little bit of a celebration um if we can even if it's just a case of we have a cake um i want a cake i like i want to have a cake when i change my name like i don't care if i have to buy the cake myself i don't care if i have to eat the entire cake myself because my friends don't like my choice of cake i just want there to be a cake <laughs> um but yeah so that's something i can look forward to in the coming year as i said at this point in time i don't know exactly when it will happen um because I have to be respectful of the situations that my friends are in and they you know, have to be mindful of their relatives who are in more vulnerable positions and I completely respect that. So, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna keep eagerly, I say eagerly watching, I'm just gonna keep monitoring the situation in Plymouth and as soon as like things get to a point where it's a bit more reasonable, I will once again ask them where they're at with it and if they're at, comfortable with it at that point then obviously things can go ahead we'll meet up and hopefully it'll be the first of many times that we meet up um but you know i i, I don't know 
Um, so something else that I'm looking forward to in the coming months, um, I'm planning to get another tattoo. Um, I have found someone to design the tattoo for me, and then I'm gonna like, and then I'm gonna get a local artist to um, to actually tattoo me. I'm hoping to get that done in March. Like it's being designed, the tattoo's being designed now, but I'm hoping to get the tattoo done in March. Um, not on my birthday, and there'll be a reason why not on my birthday, but I want it to sort of like be close to my birthday, um, either just after or just before, depending on like when I can book for, um, based on the fact that there is something else that's that, that going to be happening on the week that I usually have off for my birthday, which would normally happen, but it's another thing that I'm looking forward to, which is um, the cute friend and I are planning to uh, do an Airbnb for five days during that week that I have off for my birthday, which includes my birthday during that period of time. I say five days, it's four nights. So arriving, sleeping four nights, and then, then going home, like, on the fifth day. And it'll be, like, three solid days together in this B&B, one of them being my birthday. So I obviously I can't, like, get the tattoo done in, in that period of time um, because I want it, like, local tattooing is going to be easier. So I, it might be that I get it done the day before we go, um, or I might get it done like the week before, or I might get it done the week after, but one thing I definitely know is I want it to be during um, March um, as my birthday present to myself for that month, and the reason I'm like, I want that to be the birthday present to myself and not the holiday to be the birthday present to myself, because I don't want to set a precedent for having a holiday as a birthday present to myself, um, because that means I'm putting another barrier between me and going on holidays <laughs> like I don't I don't do holidays very often anyway I certainly don't do holidays on my own um so it's gonna be like a, a midway week midweek getaway that has been done for the week of my birthday but it's not my birthday present to myself my birthday present to myself is going to be this new tattoo which again I have no idea how long it's going to cost um, I won't know until I've actually like had the design made and then found an artist um, for how much it's actually going to cost. Um, but as I said, I'm planning to get that done sometime in March. So yeah, my January has been a bit sucky, but I'm looking forward to the coming year. And I, there are some definite things that I'm like not too far off that I can look forward to. Just need to get through February. Um, and like yeah it, it's it's that it's very much that sort of situation at the moment where it's like January is kind of a write-off month for me it's definitely not been like my um favorite start of the year ever it's not been the worst it's not been the worst January I've ever had um I've definitely had worse Januaries but in terms of um just sort of like general sort of like stress levels I guess more than anything else it's definitely been one of the most stressful starts to a year that I've ever had and I'm kind of at a point now where I'm just like I, I just I need something to look forward to I need something good to look forward to and I, I don't want to have to adult <laughs> I don't want to have to adult for a bit I just want to look forward to good things um so yeah that's that is what it is. Um, all right, I'm going to wrap this one up here. I know this one has not been as focused on wrapping up January as a lot of my wrap-ups tend to focus on wrapping up the month, uh, rounding up the month or whatever. Um, but as you can see, it's just been like one of those kind of Januaries, um, one of those kind of months where it's like, yeah, the, the stuff that I, I need to talk about and I want to talk about is like tangentially linked to the month that I've had but is sort of like more expansive than the month that I've had. Um, all right, so I hope you found this one sort of interesting. I hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever it is I'm going to talk about next time, and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others, and if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching. See ya.